often in scientific studies, if you have constraints on what you're able to do, you want to hit a system, an artificial system, or a small system really hard to observe how it responds, but no one in their right mind would propose acting in that way in the real Earth that we all have to live in. The broader point here is that we're all arguing about hypotheticals because nobody knows what interventions might be feasible, fair in their effects, desirable. We don't even well, know that the main form of intervention would remain sulfur. Let, uh, let, let's let Anjali jump in on this. I think um, it is very reasonable to assume that once we're, once we're talking about research and modeling, that we would always try and see what would happen if we increase sulfate aerosols in the, in the atmosphere like by 10 times as what we initially planned, because we are all initially modeling. We're trying to see what the impacts of it would be on the Earth, and it's all research. It's, it's nothing that we, we're not deploying it, but we're trying to see what the impacts of different circumstances would be on the Earth. Is, am I not right in saying that? I, I'm not criticizing these scientific studies. I'm agreeing that these are useful ways to get information. Yes, what I'm, what and I'm I criticizing agree with that. is the misunderstanding that says because we studied a huge hit like that in a model, that's what we're advocating doing. I, do, I, I, I completely agree with that. But my point is that once that information is out there, that in case we, we increase the amount of aerosols in the atmosphere, that might reduce the warming further. That might just instigate a bunch of players in the market to sort of increase their emissions and not follow government. Incidentally, we're not attempting to close down the debate at all. I mean, we're here tonight. We jumped at the chance to debate this uh, in public. What we're worried about is the way in which um, uh, a, a, a research program without proper governance will be taken over by particular groups that a constituency will emerge. So who will carry out the research? what ethical guidelines they, they will follow, and, and in particular, who will own the results? Because there's already been a rush of people taking out patents on geoengineering technologies, privatizing it, including uh, aspects of solar geoengineering. So we have to consider the political implications. Research is never pure. It always takes place in a social and institutional context.